A glance at the store page delivers Inked as a hand-drawn puzzle game, which it is. But dig a little deeper and you'll realize the story plays a big part. While the nameless hero's journey to save Aiko plays out, it's intertwined with the story of Adam. Adam is the artist of the Nameless Heroes comic, and he has his own story. His own story with similarities to the Nameless Heroes journey. Inked breaks the fourth wall to bring Adam's story into the mix. It combines real-world objects to bring it home. It's well done. The story is the most interesting aspect of Inked. The journey of the nameless hero fighting his way through the game to save his love is typical. The same tragedy you've heard hundreds of times before. But the bigger, more intense story that Adam is going through is compelling. Drawing the player in as they root for Adam, he's on an emotional journey that you only catch glimpses of, so you must continue to learn a little more. The game speaks to the player as they walk near words scrawled into the ground. <laughs> the demonic voice raises questions that go unanswered. What the hell is going on with Adam? They also place real-world objects like a medical bracelet to reinforce the emotions. So, Eve, what do you do? For a living, that is. I'm an ornithologist. So, you look at birds. <laughs> I mean, yes, but there's more to it. What's your fortune cookie say? That I'm going to go out with some ornithologist again. Sometimes the game pulls completely out of the drawn world to show Adam's emotions. It's powerful. The design of Inked is flawless. Everything feeds into that theme. The nameless hero carries a pen instead of a sword, and there are aspects of the real world that bleed into the art. Whatever is going on with Adam materializes as either a theme or an enemy. For example, the darker parts of the story, they take place underground. Vast darkness fills the screen. The nameless hero can only see where lights are. Stepping into the darkness tempts a monster to devour you. If the nameless hero is on the edge of darkness, where is Adam? This showing the theme is stronger than telling the player what Adam is going through. The player also has to go through it. Otherwise, Inked is a puzzle game. The puzzle design plays into the theme of being a comic, the nameless hero carries a pen instead of a sword, which he can use to draw simple shapes. Gaining ink in the levels allows him to draw even more. The physics puzzles that start the game are simple. Draw a block on a switch to open a door. These all work well, but are so simplistic, they're easy. Especially for players who might be expecting a typical puzzle game. The game's later puzzle mechanics change to become more reliant on player interaction. Instead of those early puzzles where you create a ball and ramp, Inked asks you to drive a boat. Driving is easy, but the cage hooking mechanic that goes along with it is frustrating. The explanation is weak and the physics are weird. The weird where the game objects jump around and force you to do something too precise. It's excellent that the mechanics develop, but having to repeat a puzzle because the mechanic doesn't work right is terrible. It is possible to push through for the story. Even with the new mechanics, the puzzles do not grow difficult. Instead, you'll struggle with the camera angle and placing items. For a real challenge, you'll want to rescue all the birds. Hidden, caged birds are throughout ink. These take more platforming and logical skills. These prolong the game. Overall, Inked is interesting, but only a maybe recommendation. Where the story and art shine, the puzzles are dull. I'm compelled to continue to learn more about Adam 
not the puzzles. Keep in mind, I'm not a puzzle gamer. I ignored the birds and still didn't have the fortitude to finish. 